Hey guys, it's John here again. Um, I'm going to do um, a top 10 1987 and um, hopefully I've got them in the right order. Again, I say that all the time, every time I do a video and I keep losing count. So um, bear with me. Uh, number 10. Um, I didn't really want to put any live albums in here, but I put one just because it's not. Um, it's a live album that was released in, it's not actually live in 1987, but it was released in 87 and um, there's not a huge amount of songs on it. So I thought, you know, and it doesn't really get much uh, mention in the BC, so I thought I'd stick it in with the 1987 stuff. Uh, there was another album, but it was just, you know, loads of songs, 87. And uh, and it was a Judas Priest uh, record. And, you know, that is an awesome live album, but I don't really want to put have all live albums because they're all pretty awesome. You get all the great songs on, so... Um, so number 10, I'm going to start off with a band that um, I don't always shout out about, but I do love their stuff, and uh, I do like this album, and it is um, Foreigner, and uh, the album is Inside Information, and it was the, um, the last one of the 80s with um, Lou Graham, and uh, Hot. Heart Turns to Stone, standout track. Say You Will's on there as well. Out of the Blue, awesome. So there's that one. Uh, an album by um, Black Sabbath, number nine. Uh, and it is The Eternal Idol. And I do love this album. Um, this is the first one to feature Tony Martin. And uh, it's got The Shining on there. Hard Life to Love, brilliant song. Uh, Lost Forever, Born to Lose. Um, what else is on there that's great that I really like? Uh, Eternal Idol, I think it was the other one. But yeah, the other one's brilliant. Brilliant album, so. Just number nine, right? Number eight. And uh, these guys are from Ireland. And it's you too, uh, Josh Tree. Absolute killer. Ex huge album in the in '87, and um, yeah, just absolutely brilliant. I I I love all of that album except for the song "Mothers of the Disappeared," and I think "Exit" is the other song as well. So as all the others, I love. So, you too, just retreat. So, number seven, White Lion. Uh, this is Pride, and I like Mike Trump's voice. So, yeah, you know the amazing songs on here: Hungry, Lonely Nights, um, Wait, Tell Me. All join hands, all join our hands. Um, when the children cry, obviously the amazing ballad song on there. Um, just I, that they're just amazing. So, and if you need me, if you need a second opinion, go and speak to uh, Frankie. Frankie's music. <laughs> He'll agree with you there. I uh, agree with me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so. I've lost count again. So, 10, 9, 8, 7. This is number 6. And uh, I couldn't couldn't hide from this band. Not in, 80, not in 1987. Guns N' Roses, Usual Illusion. Usual Illusion. Appetite for Destruction. You twit. <laughs> it's quite late. I'm tired. Uh, yeah, so. Um, absolutely amazing. Apart from that really crap song on here, Sweet Child of Mine, the rest of it is awesome. 
No, it's not a crap song. It's just played, been played too bloody much. So, that's number six. Number, f we're number five, eh? Four, three, two, yes. Number five. And it is Great White, Once Bitten. And uh, yeah, awesome album. Um, same as the second one of these, Twice Shy. Um, cool, what we got on there? Lady Red Light, all over now. Mistreated, sorry, Mistreater. Um, Never Change Heart is on here as well. That's absolutely killer. Have you ever tried to read that? Trying to read that with the um, the songs is really difficult. So uh, and Save Your Love is on there as well. Absolutely amazing um, album. So uh, number four. This might be a surprise to people, but I honestly, I really love this not at nine eighty seven album. It's not called 1987. It's actually um, called Into the Fire. It's by a Canadian guy. And it's Brian Adams, uh, yeah, Into the Fire. I um, I love the all of that. I can play that all the way through. Just push play, as Frankie would say. Push the button down and just push play. Um, that, to me, is... The best Brian Adams album ever, that one. And, um, you know, I, I just, and, and I highly recommend people listen to the song Native Son. Just absolutely killer. I remember playing that through the Highlands of Scotland. And that's, I had that song on and I was just like, oh my God. It was just like, blew me away. It was like, wow. Uh, Along with Dire Straits' um, Brothers in Arms song. <laughs> At the same time, the clouds were nice and down, dark, and uh, just absolutely atmospheric, amazing. Um, number three, this is the live album I was talking about before, and uh, it doesn't get much mention in the VC, so I thought, right, I'm going to stick it in. It's not of 87, live in 87, but, you know... Here we go, and it is Ozzy Osbourne's and Randy Rose, the Randy Rose tribute album, and uh, yeah, always love this. There's not a huge amount of songs on it. There's two records though. There's three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. John, shut up. There's not. There's actually fourteen songs on it. I don't know why I thought there wasn't many songs in it. Twit. I'll get it right one day. I'll do one of my videos without a mess up. But there's two records in here. Uh, absolutely worthwhile being in this list for sure. For an 87 release. Number two and number one. Was quite difficult. Very difficult. And um, so if any of you out there. Uh wind me up about this this was really difficult but i had to really go on i had to really go on the amount of songs that i love and oh god i even want to change my mind now this is so difficult this 1987 is the hardest year for me to do for number one and two and um Because I, <laughs> this video should have, I should have finished this video at nine minutes. Uh, this is just too bloody hard, right? This is my two favorite, two of my favorite bands. One definitely my favorite, and one has been my favorite for thirty years, as well as this other one and it's just bloody hard and everybody knows what bands they are even without, without me showing it i should have i should have reevaluated this before st 
doing this. God. Right, okay, I've made my decision. Number two. Number one. Let's, let's joint first. <laughs> that was the hardest thing ever to do. I've done that. Ooh. It just shows that I'm um, a hardcore um, White Snake fan of the very early stuff to be able to choose Def Leppard over White Snake. I really struggled. <sighs> right, that's it. I may change my mind later on. Right, okay. See you later. Cheers. Keep rocking.